this video will show you what is undoubtedly the best new farming strategies in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies after the Xfil patch. We'll be going over three strats in this video, with each one getting progressively better and better, and the last one is so good you can even go AFK. If this ends up being useful for you, let me know in the comments below and drop a thumbs up. And all the methods I'm going to show you in this video are very easy and potentially even better than the Xfil farm. The first being that you want to pick up a spore control contract. This is the contract that spawns in a load of spores that you need to destroy with the inhibitors, but while Whilst this contract is active, you will have infinitely spawning zombies. The most optimal way to set this up is to destroy four out of the six spores so that you'll have at least two different spawn points for the zombies. Now, since this contract can be found in the low threat zone, this can be set up extremely fast from the moment you spawn into the game. There are also a lot of these contracts around the map, so this is very easy for multiple people to be doing in a game. And as long as you don't complete that objective, you will have infinitely spawning zombies. Another bonus for this contract is that if you have missions which require you to use ammo mods, on hellhounds this will spawn a lot of them so you can get that done easily and if you need to get kills with hellhounds for specific camos then this is another great option one piece of advice is that if you've thrown the inhibitors down on a spore that you haven't destroyed yet and a random person runs in they can destroy the spore and complete the contract for you but just as a word of advice don't throw the inhibitors down on the last two spores that way no random players can complete the contract for you and like i said the benefit to this one is that there are a ton of these contracts around the map and this one's a fairly fast method but we we have one that's even faster. This second method is what I believe to be the ultimate contract method, and that is to pick up the Outlast contract. This contract looks like a satellite icon, and what it does is it spawns an area on the map which you will need to activate a device called the PND. The area inside with the machine will turn purple, and the longer you stay in that area, the more the percentage will go up. The benefit of this contract over any others for farming zombies is that zombies spawn far more aggressively and spawn in very specific parts of that area. The contract requires you to remain in the environment whilst that percentage goes up, but you don't have to do that whatsoever. When you step out of the area, the percentage will go down, but zombies will keep spawning and the mission will not fail if you get down to 0%. I'm trying this method myself. Once the PND gets to about 50%, make your way out of the purple area and the zombies seem to spawn as aggressively and fast as they possibly can. Now, this contract only puts you in a few select areas around the map, so you will very quickly learn the fastest spawn locations for the zombies. And in certain spots, if you can work out the best method where you were just outside of the purple area you are able to watch a zombie spawn point in front of you and you'll be able to just farm the zombies away like there's no tomorrow it is such an easy and fast method doing this will also spawn you in a lot of hellhounds as well so again if you need to get ammo mod kills for admission or if you need to get hellhound kills for camos this is absolutely perfect both of these contracts require you to use zero glitches you are simply just firing at zombies that are spawning at an incredibly fast rate i would go so far to say that that this outlast contract spawns zombies in quicker than the x fill pre nerf this method if you spawn a double weapon xp token in you'll be able to get around 10 to 12 levels before you are hard capped the way the game works is after a certain amount of kills which is about 750 kills in game the amount of weapon xp you earn per zombie kill will drastically decline and at that point you're better off just x filling and then infilling into a new game and repeating again the only downside with this outlast contract is there's normally only one or two of these that spawn in a game so if you are a attending this method, be sure to try and get that contract the moment you spawn into the game before someone else gets it. But I've saved the best method till last and it is so incredibly powerful that you can be AFK and be ranking up weapons extremely quick. Now the only requirement for this is that you need to have completed Act 1 of the missions within Modern Warfare 3 Zombies as you're going to need to have a mission available called Extraction. Now, if you want to optimize this strategy then bringing in a sentry gun and a monkey bomb will be great but it's only optional and fairly soon what I'm about to explain with the sentry gun and monkey bomb won't work anymore and this farming method all comes right at the very end of this mission where you have to escort dr jansen to the helipad and then board the helicopter for some reason treyarch have added one of those deadbolt turrets right at this very moment with the helipad which i think was originally there to help players fend off from zombies as they're trying to escort dr jansen to the helipad as during this final part of the mission you have infinitely spawning zombies but if you have a ton of the turret circuit boards you can place them into the turret simply sit in a corner and watch as the turret will be killing hundreds of zombies for you without you having to do absolutely anything if you want to completely optimize this method before going into the extraction story mission then i advise you go into the infested strongholds and even s to try and find as many of the turret circuit boards as possible so that you can bring them in with you as with the turret circuits these will last two minutes per circuit board that you've placed inside so if you have four of them you 
you can place them inside the turret and it will be killing zombies infinitely for eight minutes straight. Craziest part as well is that around this level, there are also a ton of turret circuit boards, which are always a guarantee spawn every time you load into this mission. There is always one turret circuit board inside the room that Dr. Jansen was in. And there's one literally opposite that room as well. There are some literally directly underneath the helipad where the turret is. Then the various other warehouses around, you are also going to find these turret circuit boards lying around. So even if you don't find any in an infested stronghold or Ethan S prior to you going in, you'll be able to find at least four of these turret circuit boards within this mission itself to be able to farm at least eight minutes of free zombie kills. And obviously, if you bring in more, then you'll obviously be able to have the turret last even longer. And with this strategy, you can be AFK almost 100% of the time, but there is a guaranteed method which will be fixed at some point soon that will allow you to be truly AFK during this method. And as I mentioned, you will need to bring in a sentry gun as well as a monkey bomb. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, this might not work anymore. But again, it is not necessary. It is just to guarantee the fact that you can be AFK. And the way you do this is slightly in front of the turret. You want to be placing down your sentry gun. You'll then want to go back onto the sentry platform and try and jump onto the top of the sentry gun itself. And where you see the little circle to pick it up, you want to cook a monkey bomb and throw it directly on top of the sentry gun. What will happen here is because the monkey bomb can't actually move, the monkey bomb will never go off. And eventually you'll see it just float up in the air. And this will attract the zombies to go in front of the turret forever. Even if the sentry gun is destroyed, the monkey bomb will still be there and it will still attract zombies directly in front of this turret. So you can just sit AFK in front of it and let this turret kill all the zombies for as long as you possibly want. And as you can see, the amount of XP I'm getting in one single moment is absolutely insane. Now, this trick with the sentry gun and the monkey bomb can also be done for the outlast and spore control contracts as well. With the outlast one, it can be incredibly lucrative if you can find one of those really effective spawn points for the outlast contract where they will just immediately run to the sentry gun. The sentry gun will take them out. If it's a spawn that you can see, they will just be attracted to where the monkey bomb is and you can just farm kills until you get that 750. Regardless if Treyarch ever fixed this issue with the sentry gun and the monkey bombs, the fact that you can have this turret work for over eight minutes, killing an infinite amount of zombies without you having to do anything is the ultimate farming method. I don't see Treyarch ever nerfing the amount of zombies that spawn here. And because this is a separate instance of the zombies mode, you're in a game by yourself. So there are no other players that can interfere with this method no other players that can take zombies away from you and you'll be gaining weapon xp and ranking up guns so quickly now with normal weapon xp you can probably rank your gun up about six times with this method before that weapon xp drop off really starts to kick in but if you pop a double weapon xp token you can get between 10 and 12 weapon levels so for simply farming weapon xp this is absolutely incredible if you want to be farming the zombies kills for the camo challenges then the other two methods are probably going to be better as i don't know if this turret actually counts as getting kills with your actual weapon. If it does, then absolutely more the merrier. Please let me know down below in the comments section. If these methods help you out, let me know by dropping a thumbs up and subscribing for more Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, guys. You can check another one on your screen now.